Hi, I'm NASA's Matt Camlet, and I'm taking you inside KSC. Employees at NASA's Kennedy Space Center and residents along Florida's space coast have heard a familiar sound, sonic boom. Kennedy partnered with the agency's Armstrong Flight Research Center and Langley Research Center for a program called Sonic Booms in Atmospheric Turbulence, or Sonic Bat. Starting the week of August 21st, NASA F-18 jets began taking off from the shuttle landing facility, flying at supersonic speeds while NASA researchers on the ground and in the air measured the effects of low-altitude turbulence on sonic booms. By learning more about how sonic booms travel, engineers can eventually design aircraft that lower sonic booms to a low rumble, paving the way for coast-to-coast -coast airline flights in two hours. A major milestone for NASA's Orion program was achieved when the spacecraft destined for Exploration Mission 1 was successfully powered up for the first time. The initial power-on procedure verified the health and status of Orion's core computers, power, and data units. It also marks the beginning of critical spacecraft subsystem tests. The Orion test team reported that flight systems and ground support equipment all performed remarkably well. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.